Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to create heart-shaped bracelet and to make one all you need is embroidery floss which will be used to make the bracelet itself and a button which will be used to open and close the bracelet and I'm going to use two colors pink and blue. I'm going to use blue as my background for the bracelet and the pink color I'm going to use to create hearts and so because I'm using two colors what I I did I took the blue embroidery floss and I folded it in a half once I folded it in a half I cut it to create two strings and then each out of two strings I fold it to get these two blue strings and then I did the same thing to the pink embroidery floss and um, it is all pinned up just so you can see it clearly but obviously you don't have to do it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is to attach this button to the um, embroidery floss After transferring all the strings through the bead, I'm just going to take a regular piece of string and I'm going to tie it up here just so every string stays in place while I'm going to make the bracelet. Important thing is to secure the top of the bracelet so it stays in place while you are working on the bracelet. And this is how I align my uh, embroidery floss. So I have two blue ones on the outside and then I have two pink ones two blue ones and two pink ones in the middle and as I said I'm going to use the blue ones as the background as the background for the um, bracelet and the pink ones I'm going to use to uh, create heart shape so this is how I do it I'm going to take the blue string first and I'm going to create two knots on the pink string using the blue one so starting from the top you're gonna go under the pink one and just pull it. And you have to create two knots on each string always. Okay, so this one is done. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the blue one. Again, I'm gonna create two knots using this blue so again we're going to start going from the top and then under and you're creating that knot the first one on the blue string and one more now i'm down to the pink one same thing you take it from above and then you go under and just repeat the same thing so this piece of embroidery floss moved from the outside to the middle so you leave it here and you are going to do exactly the same thing to the right side so here is my blue embroidery floss which is on the outside so I'm going to take it and I'm gonna create knots going to the middle so it meets this blue embroidery floss and I'm gonna create two knots on each string. So again, just pay attention that we starting from the top, going under, and the first knot is ready. And again, going from the top, under, and your second knot is ready so we're going to put this pink embroidery floss to the side now we're going to do the same thing to the blue and to the pink one here
Now we have two blue strings meeting in the middle. So you have to make sure that you create two knots on one of the blue strings as well. You can't really see the bracelet yet, but so far you have a blue V shape created out of these blue uh, strings. So now we are going to create the first uh, pink heart. So what I want you to do, that just don't lose track on your uh, pink and blue uh, uh, strings. So here we have a pink string on the outside and the second string is blue. So for now, what I want you to do is to take this blue string and create a blue knot on top of the pink one here. And you're gonna take this blue embroidery floss and just set it aside, because at this moment you don't really need it. Now going back to the pink one, you are going to create knots on the second pink string and on the blue one. And now your pink embroidery floss is in the middle. And you do the same thing to the other side. So we're gonna start with the blue one. And two pink strings meet in the middle, so just make sure you create a knot on one of them. Two knots. Now here, the first string is blue, but I'm gonna take this pink string and I'm gonna create pink knot on top of the blue one. Now we're gonna take this pink string and just set it to the side, cause you don't need it. We're gonna take the blue string and we're gonna create knots on this blue string and the pink one here. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing to this side. I'm gonna take this pink string and I'm gonna create a pink knot on top of the first blue string. Now we're gonna take this blue string and we are going to create knots on the second blue string and the pink one here. Now I'm gonna take the pink string and I'm just gonna create knots on these three strings going to the middle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this pink string. I'm gonna create knots on each of the three strings here going to the middle. And your first pink heart is ready. Now I'm gonna use my blue strings to create a background for the first heart and to separate it from the next one.
and your first heart is ready. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same pattern to create another pink heart. So here I have my second heart and you just have to continue this pattern until the bracelet is long enough to wrap around your hand. My bracelet is almost done. Um, now all I need to do is to create loop at the end big enough for this button to go through in order to open and close the bracelet. And this is how I'm gonna uh, create that loop. I have four strings on each side, two blue and two pink ones. And I'm gonna work on this side first and I will repeat exactly the same pattern on the other side once I'm done with the first one. So I divide four strings into two groups and I'm just gonna create knots using two of them. Now I'm just gonna tie each side together.